up guys, Sinufi here. So today we are going to be playing a brand new game on my channel. It is called Parkitect. It is very similar to the old school roller coaster tycoon games where you could basically create your own theme park. This is the latest version that I've recently purchased on Steam and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I have put so many hours into it, it's not even funny. But if you guys do enjoy this video, what I'll do is I'll do like a little series where I'll record roughly about 15, 20 minute videos of me creating my own park and gradually improving as we go along and I'll take you guys with me. Cool, so here we go, here is the home screen to the game. So we're just gonna click on new park sandbox mode. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna go ahead with it. Now the controls are slightly weird. So to actually rotate the screen, it's Q and E. Um, and then to obviously zoom in and out, it is the mouse. And then your typical A, W, S, D is to move you around so this is our park here this is our park entrance path let's make this a big path who are you why are you in my park already ah it's open let's close it for the time being because we can kind of get that rush of people once we've actually done something we can get that rush of people and it will be a lot easier to earn some more money i have no idea what i'm doing right now i've had a brain fart so let's build it so it goes off over here a little bit so that's one two three four five squares so one two three four five squares so we're going to do a little pathway i think i'm going to put toilets up here first because i don't know why i just feel like toilets are always the first thing that you kind of not see I think it'd be pretty gross if you see toilets at a park um, this one needs to go over one more no I want that path it needs to go there we go you'll have to bear with me as I am still learning kind of what I'm doing I haven't quite worked out like all the buttons I'm no pro at it so and I do apologize if you can hear me clicking constantly as my microphone is literally right next to my mouse so I'm gonna whack some toilets in here oh that noise oh it sounds like a clogged toilet so even though it says male and female toilets on the same like i don't know is that just one cubicle or is that like actually a, just looks like one cubicle um so we're gonna have kind of like the male and female toilets even though it does say that you can obviously have the male and the female mixing in together which isn't my thing so of course you don't want to walk straight in the door and see toilets right in front of you so we are gonna hide it behind some trees i'm just gonna oh what happened there i want my tree back there we go so if we there we go so they can't really see there so let's make sure it's kind of really an awkward oh can't go there it's kind of an awkward angle like i hate that it's kind of on this diagonal view rather than like a straight line so i can see whether these trees are in a straight line or not because right now i kind of feel like they're not and okay that is terrible placement of trees right there but we're just gonna roll with it if i need to change it then i will do so i think we're gonna have an extra tree on this side we are okay fair enough gonna roll with it so gonna plant some trees I kind of like the fact that you don't have to wait for everything so you don't have to like wait for the trees to grow and all of this lot but cool so we're gonna put a couple of benches in here because you know friends friends wait for you when you go into the toilet so we can just give them you know that little area to just sit down and wait for you to finish or parents to wait for the kids to finish to go pee 
let's see what we've got in here. There's so many intricate things that you can put in this park to make it look absolutely epic. I haven't quite got there yet. I mean, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at building stuff. I just haven't been able to make it look really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna pop this there. I that's got four, see that's only got three. Okay, we might have to sort that out in a second. So I'm just gonna place some rocks along here. So you know what, let's go back up here. Is it that tree? Let's, well, the okay, we can put that one quite far back. So three, four, there we go. So it's a lot more even now, so we're not, missing oh that symmetry i love symmetry like i love a bit of symmetry that's so lame i love a bit of symmetry but yeah so there we go that that's it that's that's the park done no, i'm joking could you imagine if you literally paid to go into a park of toilets i don't know what is cool about this game oh wrong way is you've already got like pre-made things so you've got all these like pre-made attractions you can obviously then create your own roller coasters which is really cool and then you've got kind of like your miniature railway your monorail with a suspended monorail which would be pretty cool if you have like suspended all the way around the outside of your park so people can kind of see what's going on and then obviously we've got here so we've got shops as well so we've got like food cash machines more food drinks kiosks uh pretzels obviously the toilets are in here as well good old souvenir shop and the vending machines but we're not using them just yet and then if we click on the blueprints down here there's actually blueprints that like attractions that people have already pre-made and kind of saved to steam you can go ahead and download more off steam if you wanted to and i'm pretty sure you can go and visit other people's parks as well and go and see kind of like what people have created which is pretty cool so what i'm going to do is put one of these garden plazas in here first i think i'm gonna should put it there yeah does, does it work? Yeah, I saw it. Right, so we're gonna put that there. Right, we want pass now, so we want that one. So we want that one to link up. I'm kind of feeling like these paths should be slightly thicker. So that's obviously round there like that. We can obviously add a couple of trees and stuff in here to make it look really pretty. And then what I might do is just extend this out a little bit further. So what have I done? Two squares, two squares, two squares. And then we're gonna come down here like this. So we've kind of made this little square-ish area. So obviously the other things that you do see when you first go into a theme park, I'm, <laughs> Let's get some cash machines. So let's delete these bits here. So what are we doing? Let's make four. Are we uneven? Are we actually uneven? We are, okay. Mm. So talking about like being symmetrical and having the symmetry from earlier. So what am I gonna have to do? I think because this is only two, is that what I need to do? No, I think the plaza needs to be moved down one. How can we do this?
Oh, still done it. Screw you. Screw you. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so now, like I said, we're gonna get our cash machine. So there's one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna get our little kiosks and put it on the other side. Oh no, it's raining. That looks alright, I guess. There's not really too much wrong with that. So, now what I'm going to do is... Let's get some little benches around the outside again. So, while people are waiting for... People at the kiosks and... Hey! Hey! Hey, hang on a minute. Closed. What are, what are you guys doing here? Who? Oh, is this staff members? Shopkeepers. Oh. Oh, there are little... Oh, they're the guys that are working at the kiosks. That is adorable. Okay. So we've got our little kiosk workers that have just hired themselves for some strange reason but that's perfectly fine i tell you what i'm gonna leave it as three benches i think yeah so some of you are probably screaming at me right now being like all you needed to do was change this oops is that right is that is that how i've done it no, okay. Let's sort this out. So those things kind of do get in the way a little bit, but you know, you can move them, so it's perfectly fine. So. Cool, so there is that there. So there's kind of a little, a little walkthrough for guests to come and you know, have a little browse around as they first come in. You don't want it to go kind of be like really plain and simple when they first come in. They've got to be like, oh, wow, okay, this place is really cool. So what have we got here? Lamps. It's got to be lit up so you can see where you are going. I think, should we have this all the way around? No. Kind of makes a really weird noise at you if you can't place it somewhere. So, let's just have them in the middle there. So what have we done? One there, one there. I will probably end up deleting some of these in a second, like when I finally worked out where I am having like everything sit. So, oh, there we go. And where is that one? So that one's right next to it. That one's there. One, two. There we go. So that'll do for the time being. And then another pretty cool feature, you can actually move, oh, not on that one, with this one, you can actually move the ground up and down. So you can take like your required square, so you can see the little white kind of arrows to, what is the right word? Signify, signify, Sig I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that. To, I don't know, to show you where it is. So we are going to do this. So this is pretty cool. So we can, oh, that is going up. We don't want to go up, we want to go down. There you go, and let's move that down. So automatically it kind of suspends whatever you're, like with this, for example, because we're right next to kind of like an attraction, it does it itself so it kind of like moves everything 
up and puts it on stilts itself, which is pretty cool. So if we carry on doing this round here, so one more, there we go. And there, there, and there. And then we click on this little icon up in the corner on our little taskbar, like little thing, and we can actually fill this up with water and you can actually choose how far you want it. So I think I'm gonna go there. So it's not quite all the way up. It's kind of down a little bit, so, or should we go all the way up? Why not? Okay, let's go all the way up. It looks a little bit better. There we go. So it, it's taking some shape very slowly, but we are we are getting there. It is taking some shape. So what I'm going to do now is go back in here. And if I remember rightly, where are you? There. Water lilies. So if I zoom in... You can put little water lilies on the in the water and it just makes it look so adorable. I love how simple the graphics are on this game, but like how like effective it is. Why can there you go? So originally when I first tried to use these in water I couldn't, I was so zoomed out that I couldn't actually see them and I didn't think it was doing anything so I had like a random like just stack of random water lilies but there we go so that's kind of what it looks like so yeah like I said if you zoom out you can't actually see the tiny little flowers you can only see the leaves themselves so there's the first bit done and you know what I might do let's zoom out a little bit let's make things a little bit more interesting so that's two three sod it okay let's go five so if i bring this down a little bit one two I do apologize guys but I did not realize that my camera shut itself off but as I was saying you can put these cool little TVs in the queue so you know you can be entertained while you're waiting so we're gonna pop those there and then let's put a couple of bins so what bins are we gonna go for let's go for just standard trash bins so put one there one there one there and one there and let's do it exactly the same on the other side people always end up having rubbish on them for some reason or another so let's build that there so what can we do so let's make I don't want a dead tree a dead tree hmm let's just stick some dead trees about okay, so what I might do is I might put a couple of like little fir trees in here 
and then we've got like the little flower boxes which are absolutely adorable okay let's delete those then first so let's put our little flower boxes here i'll tell you what let's put a small little fir tree so we can put it here 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 and here and then what we can do is we could put a couple of logs hmm let's go let's put a couple of rocks out like so if we turn the camera around they are actually quite far out so let's just delete those a little bit let's bring them back in so one two three four one two three four turn it around two three four so i don't really know what i was doing there but we can then stick a couple of bigger rocks let's put that on that side it's just there it's just there okay so if we go i think it's on this one let me see fences there we go so we've got a couple of different fences so what i might do uh iron fence so if we zoom ooh, if we zoom in there we go so it kind of makes the exit look a little bit neater so it's not just a random path there we go so that makes it look a lot neater so look we've got the little tvs here for the entertainment and then our little atms and our little kiosks so if we come out of this this looks so pretty when you zoom in on it i just love like the bold colors it's just so simple yet so effective so what we can do now is think which one are you on here we go so we can actually create zones for ourselves. so what i'm going to do is highlight the whole of this zone and this zone will now be zone one so if i now come over here we can hire staff so we're going to hire some janitors and you are going to be in zone one we don't really need haulers in zone one, but we're gonna do it anyway. Cause there's not really any shops or anything. And then mechanics. So these guys, obviously, if any of the rides break, they're there. So if our observation tower breaks in any way, they're there to come and fix it, which is awesome. And then obviously we're gonna have, let's put four security in zone one as it, is the entrance and the exit we don't want anyone sneaking out with any stolen goods and we don't want people sneaking in without paying and then we've got some entertainers so let's have let's have four entertainers in zone one so it's like hey come and join us come and come and enjoy yourself in our theme park so that's pretty cool so they all kind of go around and do their own thing which is pretty cool so like i said what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like sections of my park at the time so today we are focusing on the entrance so what i'm going to do now is actually finally so the last thing i am going to do today is just kind of oh wrong one is just kind of decorate around here a little bit so we're going to put a couple of fir trees out on the hills just just random just completely random and then the smaller fir trees can go in there as well and then finally we are going to put some rocks kind of just around the bottom maybe up a little bit on each little section no particular space or area just you know make it look as natural as possible and then i think we are pretty good to go so this is going to be our entrance to our theme park i'm pretty impressed with this so far i'm 
I'm enjoying the way it looks. So obviously as we first come in we've got the toilets, the guys and the girls toilets and then we've got our little kiosks and information booths. Then we have our little ATM, like little cash machines, there we go, ATMs, cash machines. And then we've got a couple of, you know, nice landscapes and stuff going around here. And of course we've got our observation tower which is right at the beginning. But like I said guys, I am going to do this in small sections. So today's video might be a little bit longer than the rest of them. It's just so I can kind of introduce you to the game and you kind of know what's going on. Um, so yeah, I am going to leave it here. If you do enjoy me playing this game, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys want to see more of it and I will continue with this series of building our own theme park. I'll tell you what, give me some comments down below of what you want this theme park to be called and I'll choose my favourite one and we shall name it that. But like I said guys, please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then please do so and I will see you guys next time. Bye!